Highlanders Football Club are dug deep to strike it late with an 84th minute winner to pass yet another stand test of their pedigree with the Menika Yangude header making all the difference against a star studded Simbabura side. A squad on paper with such players can walk into the first team of many a local side without sweat. No wonder their coach Tonde Indiraya looks at his lineup and marvels. It was a game many had looked forward to. Believe it, attendance attracted fans from Europe and even America. And by fact, the local league, or is it Highlanders, does have that magnetic pull for sport tourism. Simbabora carved the match's first dangerous opportunity for Mablaoi Chiefs duo, Believe Remo and Mtoko Simsebe, combining but Simsebe's header flew wide of Ariel Sivanda's left hand post. Highlanders responded with Makinon Mshore's long range shot, well collected by Timon Mbula, and as Boso raised the bar, Mshore's shot was again denied by the numbers, flooding the Simbabora area. On an afternoon when usually reliable Highlanders defender Andrew Mbeba was off color, he would present Simbabora with a gift corner kicker that was nodded over bar by Billy Veremo. As Boso enjoyed the better part of the exchanges, they thought they had penetrated the Zimbabwe last line of a marvelous Chikumira lob that set Godfrey Makaruse clear, but the near side assistant ruled Makaruse head straight offside. From this angle, it appeared otherwise. The tempo of the game had risen mostly in favor of the home side, and Linot Chikua would soon try his luck from the edge of the box, but Timon Bula was well positioned to collect. Credit has to go to the Zimbabwe defense for their discipline under the barrage of Highlanders attacks and despite intensity the visitors kept their defensive structure intact as they absorbed all thrown at them, sometimes with admirable composure. Whilst Indiraya revels at the quality of his side, his counterpart Kelvin Kaindu bangs on tactics and it would appear KK with moderate talent in his Highlanders squad is cooking something pleasing to watch, he only has to spice it by combating the chances that come his way. On the brink of halftime, a divine Mindirira making a welcome return after a lengthy layoff would juggle his way before setting up Chikua, who could only find the side netting with some fans already up deceived by the shaking nets. Nil all at the break, both sides with their positives, Highlanders dominant in midfield, though not penetrating Simba's last line, whilst the visitors are sticking to the plan to repel all thrown at them to hopefully hit when an opportunity arose. For both sides, the second half will be a matter of completing strategies and it would have been a plan come together on the 50th minute for Boso, but Marvelous Chikumira's header was well collected by keeper Mbula. On one of the sporadic occasions when Simbabura elected to push forward, Walter Msona combined with him towards himself, but Billy Veremo would rush his shot that went embarrassingly wide of targets. Without doubt, Zimbabwe were seeing more of the ball in the second half than they did in the first and Ariel Sivanda would summon all his experience to deal with Walter Sona's dangerous free kick that bounced before his save. The resultant corner kick was flashed across the face of goal by an Ishmael Nyani header without any takers from Zimbabwe to tap home. Highlanders, perhaps drained by the electrifying first half, were second best for quite a spell in the middle stages of the second, and Simon Machope's defense splitting pass set up Ishmael Nyani, who wasted the chance with a shot to the stands. Coach Kelvin Kaindu then re energized his side with changes, and substitute Calvin Chikonero could have done better after a magnificent throw ball from Makinon Mushore set him loose, but he appeared hesitant to go for the kill, eventually fluffing his shot wide. Just like Highlanders in the first half, Simbabora also had their moments for close offside calls. Prominently, when Vasily Kawe picked up Walter Msona, at judged to have been on the wrong side of action at the release of Kawe's pass. Again, from this angle, it looked very tight. Simbabora almost stole a late winner of a corner, but Webster Taffa flashed his head wide of goal. Then came the defining moment. In his best contribution of the afternoon, Andrew Mbeba delivered a beautiful cross into the box which appeared on its way out until the demons possessed Wilson Mensah to head it towards his own goal. Melika Agnube pounced with a header, noting home at the gift that made all the difference. It was 1-0 to Bozo. Broken on the death, Simbabora were left with no choice than to make the best of the worst in a few minutes, coming out of their defensive cocoon with Kawe again stringing another fine pass for Mensah, who could not make amends for his cardinal error, eventually forced to shoot anyway. Had one victory then for Bozo, who have work to do in their last third, if they are to make their dominance count with goals. On the other hand, Simbabora appeared to have stifled the talent of their array of big-name players by sitting back most of the time. It was evident when they opened up after conceding that they could have been more dangerous giving as much as they would take, yet they chose to sit back only to play when circumstances had become tragic. It was too late. For the Premier Soccer League at Papafield Stadium in Bulawayo, I'm Tandazan Zimbabwe.